you one more uh, 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 VIP. He's a uh, uh, little story. I uh, uh, when I was calling on and, and organizing this event, uh, when I reached out to first the Slovak community and asked them to bring a flag, and nobody could come up with a flag somehow. And uh, I was getting a little desperate and, and uh, was uh, just meeting with my part of the family that's Slovak and I was saying, geez, I don't know, you can get a uh, Slovak flag. And my uh, mother-in-law, she looked at me and says, how big do you want it? <laughs> it's about usual, three by five. Let me see, I, I, let me see, let me check. And she walks out with perfectly, freshly folded in a box Slovak flag. So there it is. I made a, uh, a step for it. And our next speaker is the designee, uh, is the Slovak, let me get this right, honorary uh, Slovak council designee. And he didn't have a flag either. His reply was, I don't have it yet. So it's my pleasure to, as a gift from Czechs to the Slovaks, give Richard Krepic, the honorary Slovak council designee, a Slovak flag. He can take that home and be equipped for his future duties. Richard Krepic. Thank you, Paul. And I echo the, the comments before about all the work that Paul has done in this garden as well as the Federation. Um, as we, today we celebrate these events that have already been listed, it's so fitting that we hold them in the Cleveland Cultural Gardens, the home of the Czech, Slovak, Rus, and all the other gardens represented here by these flags as well as others. It's so fitting because the mission and vision of the cultural gardens is that peace through mutual understanding. Peace through mutual understanding creates this atmosphere of that although there might be differences in cultures, in fact, even with the, the Czech, the Slovak, the Rusins, cultures, different cultural aspects, uh, ethnic groups, that those differences are those unique characteristics are values to be understood accepted, respected, and celebrated. Anytime I am in the gardens, whether to walk through, to attend One World Day, and I will be there on September 16th, or any other garden events, I'm inspired by the spirit of each of these gardens, that though different in nationality or heroes, we all have in common our humanity. So today, as we celebrate, we also need to remember, remember that we are faced with a number of challenges divisiveness, nationalism, misunderstanding, disrespect. With that in mind, it becomes even more imperative that we focus on this mission of peace through mutual understanding, to keep alive the spirit of today's celebration, the spirit of these gardens, so that we can meet and resolve these challenges and move forward to make the world a better place in which to live. I'd like to close with a short quote from Dr. Martin Luther King, in his December 10, 1964 acceptance speech for the Nobel Peace Prize said, and I quote, Sooner or later, all the people of the world will have to discover a way to live together in peace and thereby transform this pending cosmic elegy into a creative psalm of brotherhood. If this is to be achieved, man must evolve for all human conflict a method, and the foundation of such a method is love. So thank you, and let's continue the celebration with refreshment. Thank you, Richard. Uh, Richard has been involved in the cultural gardens for many years. That's how I know him. And now he's taking on new duties 